Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, tell a little story about how I became the Fresh Prince of a town called Bel Air. That's my intro. That's my intro that I wanted to do. Welcome to the Blue Midwest Mysteries podcast, everyone. Did you ever watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? No, I never did. (sighs) Then that intro was completely lost on you, dude. Will Smith is a king. Will Smith, star of such films as Bright, Netflix is Bright, and and Suicide Squad. Did you ever see either of those movies? Percy number six, my (laughs) co-host of this podcast. Well, what do you think? I don't watch movies. Dude, they're so bad. Like, they're great, but they're so fucking terrible. Suicide Squad is a horrible movie. Like, I'm, like, I'm I'm a musical guy, right? And, like... He just, Will Smith, he was just, I think, the genie in Aladdin. Oh, my God. I saw that movie, You did? Dude. Okay, yeah, yeah. What, what's your reactions to that? Oh, it's so bad. I paid for another movie. I think I paid to see Toy Story 4. Okay. And or, I don't know if Toy Story 4 was out at the same time, but I know I paid to see another movie, like a good movie. Mm-hmm. And then I went to see <laughs> Aladdin at the same time. That movie sucks hot ass. Also, I need to start this timer. So, oh, yeah. So that we don't... I don't, did we do, did we, I don't think we even used the time. Yeah, we used it, but I just... I turned it off because I saw that we were approaching the end of the last episode. By the way, we were recording this episode immediately after we recorded the last episode. The only break in between is making some popcorn, which, which is delicious. It's very good, man. But, yeah, dude, Aladdin is one of my favorite... I think Aladdin is my favorite Disney movie. Honestly, really? you know, like not counting like the Marvel shit, because I'm a fucking nerd. Mm-hmm. Aladdin is my favorite just Disney movie. Okay. I grew up on that movie. I had the fucking Blu-ray. I'm well, not the Blu-ray, the DVD. But like, I had the two disc DVD, so I had the extra disc that was just the bonus features. So I watched all the behind the scenes. I watched all the interviews. I watched the commentary. I watched all that shit, man. Honestly, one of my favorite things to do is just go on YouTube and just like search for the behind the scenes of some of my favorite movies as a child. Mm -hmm. Like I found The Incredibles. For those of you who don't know, The Incredibles is one of my favorite movies of all time. The Incredibles is the movie that made me want to make movies. But I I went on YouTube the other day and I found the behind the scenes for The Incredibles. And that shit brought me back to when I was like six years old, dude. Oh, man. Incredibles. I watched that. I mean, I watched that obviously as a kid. And then, probably a year or two ago, I watched it again. Not, not bad. Not D- bad. Dude, it's so good. Dude, just like, the thing that I love about The Incredibles is that it's equally like a superhero movie and a family movie. Like, it's it's got some like great superhero action and shit like that, but really, like the most important thing about that movie is like the fact that they're like a believable family. Like, they've got like a hyperactive kid. They've got like an edgy teenager, like... They've got a dad that wants to, like, longs for the glory days. They've got a mom that wants them to just have, like, a normal family. Like, it's sick. I love that movie. What's your... Do you have a favorite... I know you're not, like, a huge movie guy, but do you have, like, a favorite movie? (laughs) I mean, like, I'd have, like, two options, right, if I had to pick. I'd either be Frozen or either a Spongebob movie. I'd probably lean more towards one. Like, of course, he doesn't like the first Spongebob movie. The second one, I I really enjoyed that. It had... Dude, honestly, I... I, I've never said anything bad about the Spongebob movies. Eh. I don't like Frozen, but I like the Spongebob movie. Spongebob's just a classic, just it in is. general. I, I I watched... Okay, I think the last movie I watched... No, I feel like this is a lie. Well, the last movie I remember watching in the theater was Digimon Adventure Try. That is <laughs> fucked Do you know what's up. funny? I went with my brother. I went with one of my friends. So it was the three of us. I think there was at most nine people in that theater. That's so funny. And it was a one day showing, and um, nine people went to it. Well, here l- let me tell you something about myself. Because I'm a film major, I have an app that keeps track of which movies I watch. So the last movie that I watched was a movie that I watched yesterday. It was my friend came over to my apartment, and it, we watched Batman: Mask of the Phantasm, which is a movie that's like. 
in the universe of like the animated Batman series. Do you ever watch it, Batman the animated series? No. With Mark Hamill as the Joker and oh, Kevin no. Conroy as Batman, dude. That that series is iconic. That's one of the greatest fucking TV series of all time. Like real shit. I love I love that series so much. Mm-hmm. Speaking of TV series, what's I? What's your favorite? I think I know the answer to this well, already. But what's your favorite TV series? Well, it's hard for me to pick a favorite. Well, actually, no. I have two favorites, but like I think what you really want me to talk about is the show I've been watching this yeah. year. So you guys, so this year, around a year ago, I started watching the TV show Cheers, which is a really old show, but it's a good show. It's 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 modern family of today's shows, if if you know what I mean. It's a comedy show. It's a nice family family friendly show, right? Anyway, anyway, so like after I finished it, they had a spin off it spin off of it called Frasier. I'm like, man, you know. I want to watch Frasier, but I just watched Cheers. Let me give it time. Because, like, most of you, I binge watch shows like crazy. So I know if I'm going to watch Frasier, it'll be done in, like, a month. So I'm like, you know what? Let's do something cool. Next year, 2019, I will watch an episode of Frasier every day. And guess what I've done in 2019? I've watched an episode of Frasier every day. I'm on season 10, so I'm almost... There's 11 seasons. I'm halfway through to season 10, which, man... That just hit me. I'm almost done with Frasier. I don't know what I'll do with my life it's, once Frasier's done. It's like an addiction. He literally texted me yesterday before he came here to my apartment. And he was like, do you want to watch an episode of Frasier with me? Or should I watch it before I come to you? And I was like, definitely watch it before you come here. Because I don't want to watch Frasier with you. But the good news is I'm staying the night. He said he'll watch it with me tomorrow before I leave. <sighs> yeah, I did make that promise, didn't I? So, we, we might have to do... I mean, it won't be on here. But maybe I'll do like a Twitter live reaction or something. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just be. I mean, honestly, I don't hate Frasier. I have no opinion about Frasier. The most I know about Frasier is that Kelsey Grammer is in it, and he voices Sideshow Bob on The Simpsons. He does. Kelsey Grammer, man, that guy. He's played Frasier Crane for twenty years. Like that's one of the longest anybody's played a character. I think like a couple guys from. Law and Order have played it longer than him, and maybe someone from, like, MASH. Dude, this popcorn's so fucking good. Honestly, like, I, and, like, see. Welcome to our ASMR. But, see, we, we eat popcorn in different styles, which I, t- I could tell. He'll just, like, grab a handful. I take one at a time. I fucking destroy popcorn, dude. Like, it's the same with chips. Like, I don't eat one at a time. I grab like a handful and I just shove them in my face as quick as I can. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think that comes from Boy Scouts because when I was in Boy Scouts, we had a troop of like it was all people like my age, and so it was all we were all some growing boys, and so we were all fucking really hungry all the time. So it was always like a contest because we we only had a certain amount of food. So it was always like whoever finishes eating first gets to eat seconds first, and so it was always like. I want seconds more than you want seconds. So he's always fucking, you got to eat as quick as you can and then go get the seconds before someone else gets the seconds. And I know it's funny. Whenever I eat with my parents, my dad's like, you got to eat slower. Like you eat so fast. And it's like, I'm sorry, man. Boy Scout says, Boy Scout says poison me. That's true. Yeah. I mean, like, I remember I went to somebody's birthday party and I had like, what is it? Cookie cake, cookie cake, right? I had like six pieces of it, which at the time was like, man, that's crazy. Now, here, here's spoiler alert for you that still are under 18 and or live with your parents. <laughs> when you move out, you, you can eat whatever you, you want. You can eat whatever you want. That's good and bad. Yeah. yeah. I remember I was in a Skype call with, with person number six and Roberto and Ted and a couple other people a couple nights ago. And I was just nonstop bitching about how hungry I was. <laughs> and they were like, just go get some food. And I was like, oh, yeah, I can definitely just go do that. So I just walked down the street to Qdoba and I got a fat-ass burrito bowl. And I ate the entire thing at 11 o'clock at night. And, you know, fun fact, I walked by that today. Yeah, we got some euros today, dude. Or I got a euro and you got a kebab platter. And it was yeah, true. so good. It was I was like, you know, eating local food's always good. Yeah. Like, I can eat McDonald's in any state I want, but local food, it's local for a reason, you know? Do you ever get Uber Eats? No. I've never... I haven't done anything Uber, actually. Not... I haven't gone in a car for Uber. I haven't Ubered food to my place. Dude, I use Uber... Now that I live on my own, 
I use Uber Eats so much. It's bad. Like that's dangerous. If you go on my phone and you look through my Uber Eats history, like it's rough how much I use Uber Eats. And I'll Uber Eats like like I'm I have no shame. I'll Uber Eats McDonald's, dude. <laughs> like it's re- that's great. It's really like that. Have you ever Uber Eats something that's like within walking distance? No. I haven't okay. stooped that low yet. Okay, that's good. But it it's just so easy because you don't have to leave. I don't have to leave my apartment. Somebody just brings it to my door, and I, all I have to do is open the door and take the food from their hand. Like, that's good. Uh, oh my god. Also, like this is like the this is like what we live in now. Like back in the past, people thought that the future was gonna be like jetpacks and like flying cars. And all that kind of shit. But no. Mm -hmm. The future is that someone brings your food and holds it in front of your face. And all you have to do is grab it out of their hand. The future is Uber Eats. It's like... I wish I had a jetpack, man. That's been like... That's been on my like wish list for my entire life. I have wanted a jetpack for so fucking long. I just... I want to fly. That's the thing. I want to fly, and I don't want to be in a big t- metal tube with other human beings with recycled air. I just, I just want to <laughs> fly, dude. Oh man, you're right. Recycle. I like, I don't even think about that. Yeah, it's all recycled air. Like, I love. I really like flying. Like airport. What days when I'm like traveling? When it's just a travel day for me. Like I go to the airport and I go through security and I just sit at the gate and I get on the plane and I fly somewhere. Those are honestly some of my favorite days because I love going to the airport. Like that, I'm that might be fucked. Like I might be weird, <laughs> but I just I love traveling, man. Like I don't know what it is about it, but I love going to the airport. I love sitting there on my phone for two hours and eating fucking way too expensive airport food and just like waiting for my plane t- to board. But like I don't know, I just I love traveling and I really like airports and I like flying a lot and. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, man, but like I just I want I want a jetpack. Again, this probably goes back to the Incredibles with Syndrome yeah. and his fucking rocket boots, dude. That shit's sick. Do you know how sick it would be to be able to f- to strap two rockets to your feet and just be able to fly anywhere you want? That would be so sick. I mean, who hasn't like thought about like when they drive like really long distance, being like, man, you know, if I could just fly. It'd be like an hour, two hours tops, right? I would always, I would always think about it in high school, cause my high school had way too many people in it. My high school was so overcrowded, so I would always just like be like, be like shuffled around in the hallways, and people would always just be like pushing me around and stuff like that. And I would just be like, man, if I could just fucking fly over everybody to get to my class quicker, that <laughs> would be so sick. That would honestly, like, yeah, like, do you ever think, like, cause like, oh man, I've traveled. I've traveled a lot of back roads over the years, getting back and forth from school to home, right? Mm. Like, I've always thought, like, imagine if, like, I could just, like, fly or had something that could make me fly. Like, man, that would be, that would be so much better. He's eating more pop. Fun fact, he just dropped this popcorn on the floor and is now eating it. Shut up. It's good popcorn. It's, I'll have you know, this is movie theater butter popcorn. Oh, man. Now that okay, now that he says that, I can definitely tell it's movie fe- theater bo- popcorn. Man, I can't speak. Dude, I love going to the movie theater too. Like some people are like, I hate going to movie theaters. Shit's too expensive. But like, that's part of the experience, man. Like it might just be because I'm a lame film major. But like, I love going to the movie theater and paying way too much for some fucking popcorn and a drink and just sitting there. And just getting a movie, like, on a huge screen, just, like, beamed into my face. Like, actually, that reminds me of a story. So, I know that there's Rocket Man, that new movie that came out about Elton Elton John. John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, so I saw it when I was back in my hometown recently. Me and one of my friends went to go see this movie. And so we, I like to sit in the way back of the theater. And so me and my friend are sitting in the way back of the theater. And we're watching this movie. And this dude comes in, like, ten minutes into the movie, and we're like, okay, whatever, he's probably just late. And he goes in, and he sits in, like, the front row of the theater, and we're like, that's really fucking weird. But, it, like, to be fair, it was a packed theater. Like, the theater was full. And so we're like, okay, whatever, he probably just didn't want to sit by other people. That's understandable. So he just goes, and he sits down, and he sits, like, 
in the in the front row of the theater, and we're like, whatever. Mm-hmm. And this motherfucker falls asleep <laughs> during this movie, and he starts snoring so goddamn loud, <laughs> like it was unreal. Like this dude, there's scenes where like there there's like musical numbers, and there's scenes where the actors have to be like really emotional, and there's like. These actors on screen, they're, like, crying, and they're just, like, pouring their hearts out and stuff like that, and they're just acting the hardest they could possibly act. And this motherfucker is snoring <laughs> louder than the dialogue on screen. He was literally snoring so loud that at parts we could not hear what was happening on screen. And so me and my friend are sitting in the back row of this theater trying so hard not to laugh. But this dude is just, it's like a chainsaw noise. And we cannot stop fucking laughing. We were just cracking up. That's great. We are just laughing so hard in the back of the theater. There's people, like, looking at us. And, like... And so, eventually... This dude must have been, like, drunk or high or something like that. And so, eventually, it got to the point where somebody went to go complain. Because he was snoring so loud. And somebody... And so this, like, 16-year-old fucking theater employee comes in. This poor kid who's not <laughs> being paid enough for any of this shit. And he comes in, and he, like, shakes this guy. And this guy starts shouting at this kid. And he's like, why'd you touch me, man? And he's like, sir, because you, you're sleeping, you're snoring in the middle of this movie. He's like, why'd you touch me, man? You're invading my privacy. You know, I, pay, <laughs> I paid my ticket to see this movie. He's like, sir, you're snoring. You're disrupting other page, uh, other other patrons of the movie theater. He's like, yo, whatever, man. Are you are you trying to fight me? Why are you disrespecting me? <laughs> and the guy's like, sir, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting you. I'm just trying to get you to wake up during the movie and not disrupt the other patrons. He's like, what, you want to fight? And so this poor fucking 16-year-old kid is just like trying desperately to get this guy to fucking wake up and not snort in this movie so the guy wakes up and the, and the 16 year old kid leaves this dude immediately falls back asleep again <laughs> so the 16 year old kid has to come back oh. and wake this motherfucker up again and this dude literally almost throws hands with this kid and eventually this guy got this kid to leave the theater and once this dude leaves the theater this dude sitting in front of us stands up and starts clapping <laughs> and and we were just, me and my friend just died laughing in the back of the theater. So, I honestly have no idea what happens for about a third of Rocket Man. Because okay. th- this dude was snoring. But it was one of the greatest theater experiences I have ever had in my entire life. That's really cool. The closest I have, and it was me, was my, my dad. My dad's kind of like me, right? He's old, so he'll watch old movies every now and then, like, Mm -hmm. on a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. But, like, beyond that, like, he doesn't do much with movies. Mm -hmm. But we both went to this movie. It's a political movie, so I'll be nice. I won't say the name of it. We're not going to get into politics here. Uh, But anyway, there we went together. There was definitely a point where we both fell asleep, and I feel like it was separately. So, like, once we both woke up after falling asleep... I feel like we both, like, kind of looked at each other and, like, kind of acknowledged that, hey, we just fell asleep during this movie we were both really excited about seeing. <laughs> but, you know, that that's our lives. We just fell asleep during the movie that we're going to see. Hell yeah. Dude, I feel bad, but I've fallen asleep during a lot of movies. I was going to ask that. What movies have you fallen... Like, what what's, the, what's, like, when you think of all the movies you've fallen asleep in, what's, like, the one at the top? Oh my god, the one that stands out to me most, because I'm a huge Marvel fan, is I fell asleep during The Incredible Hulk, starring Edward Norton. It's like the end fight scene, which is something that you should not fall asleep for. It's these two big ass fucking CGI monsters, and they're like punching each other, and they're like fucking, they're they're just beating the shit out of each other. It's like an end of movie action scene basically and so this is something that you should be awake for the whole movie's building up to this and i was just on the couch fucking snoring and i woke up and it's like the end credits are playing and then after the credits robert downey jr comes out and he's like watch the avengers coming out in 2012 and i'm like oh that was a cool movie i guess <laughs> like man ah i was just gonna say something completely lost my train of thought but Get it? Train of thought, because Thomas and Friends. That's that's how we relate to Thomas and Friends with this podcast. Yeah, because we're on TWR Community Radio. Yes. Man, it's so funny. Everybody else has a show that relates to, like, Thomas and Railway or Thomas and Friends or something like that. And we're here, and we're just, like, talking about movies and just, like, eating popcorn. Man, if it wasn't for me saying Train of Thought, 
We haven't mentioned anything Thomas related in this video yet. Well, I said Blue Midwest Mysteries, and that's the name of our podcast, and it's also the Blue Mountain Quarry. So, mm -hmm. I remember it was so funny. We were trying to come up with a name for this podcast, and I just called him, and I was like, dude, what the fuck are we going to call our podcast? And we were just like, what are some Thomas-related things? Uh -huh. We just thought for a little bit, and we eventually came to Blue Midwest Mysteries. Also, you know what's a Blue Midwest Mystery? What? Culver's. Oh. Culver's is a Blue Midwest Mystery. So, for those of you who don't know, Culver's is a burger chain. And that's only in the Midwest. And its logo is like a, it's like blue. It's like a blue sphere with Culver's in the middle of it. And anybody outside the Midwest does not know what Culver's is. So you could say that it is a blue Midwest mystery. Because its logo is oh. blue. It's only in the Midwest. That's good. And it's a mystery to anyone not in the Midwest. Man. Dude, honestly, Culver's is like my favorite burger chain. It's like... I, I used to be like, man, you know, I just like their food there. I used to be like, I like their food there, but if I had to pick ice cream, I have Dairy Queen. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, I'll eat their food. I'll eat their ice cream. Like, I love Culver's. Culver's fucking slaps. Dude, like, it, oh my god. Like, there, there's good, like, regional burger chains, but Culver's is my favorite. Because the burger that they give you is just huge, and it's fucking just shiny with grease. And it's just big and disgusting and delicious dude like you just make mm -hmm. a giant mess your hands get all slimy when you eat it and i just i love it so much dude roberto's gonna fucking he's gonna cut off my balls for saying this but i oh, yes. don't like in and out burger that Ooh. much like in and out is just okay mm -hmm. like every time i eat in and out burger i get the shits real bad Ooh. i have to shit really bad every time i eat in and out burger well i'll tell you like here's Here's my Culver's story, right? It's not even that good of a story, but like... Uh, a We're on a podcast, so tell it. Yeah, right. A few months ago, I went out with my friends, and it was like, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, whatever. It was late at night. And we're like, let's go eat at Culver's. So we go to Culver's, and like, we're eating. I don't even... I think I got some ice cream thing. Like, when, what else are you going to get at Culver's at 10, 11 at night? <laughs> right. And like, there, there's this old lady sitting like a table not too far from us. Like, yeah. It's one of those, like, you walk in, you see the person, you don't really acknowledge them, because they're like, they're already eating, we're about to eat, so, like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, like, we sit down, and, like, she finishes eating, and she's like, oh, you guys, here, I didn't finish my fries, you guys can have my fries. I know what it's like being young, you don't have a lot of money, you can you can eat our fries, like, I have kids, I have, maybe grandkids, I don't remember what she said, but I have, like, kids, grandkids your age, like, yeah, I know they would love to have fries right now, and we're like... Uh, yes, we would love to have your fries. Thank you very much. Dude, Culver's fries are so... Dude, everything at Culver's is so good. Ugh. Man, I, I fries are, like, the weirdest food. Like, they <laughs> taste similar, but, like, literally every place you go, they taste different. It's it's a potato. It's a potato, dude. Culver's... Yeah, fries are so weird, but Culver's does them so good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think the only place that even compares to Culver's fries... And this is going to be a super hot take, is McDonald's. McDonald's. Dude, Man. I fucking... Dude, McDonald's fries, when they're good, are, like, good. Like, sometimes you get some bad McDonald's fries that have been sitting there for a long time, and they're just soggy and fucking shitty, and they haven't put enough salt on them, mm -hmm. and they're just gross. But when you get, like, a batch of McDonald's fries that are fresh out the fryer and have just been salted, oh... Oh, they're so good. Also, question. Is it... This might expose me for being a fucking weird-ass human being. Oh, no. Do you put fries on your burger? What? I put fries on my burger. No, i Yeah. Ne okay, like, I've never heard of somebody that's done I that. I always put fucking french fries on my burger, dude. Really? Yes, I do it Why? all the time. Everywhere I go, I put like, like okay. two or three fries on like, my burger. I'm not disgusted. I'm tempted next time I have a burger with fries to try it. Dude, it's like it's weird because you don't even really taste it. Cause well, it, like you know how it is you go to a restaurant and you get like a thousand fries. So it's like okay, I can see myself throwing a few of my fries onto the burger and being like, how does it taste? Dude, because you don't even really taste it that much. I just do it <laughs> like. I don't oh, have, really? I don't have an explanation. I don't have a justification for it. You can call me a freak in the comments if you want. Freak. But I put I put french fries on my burger. Meltaker Media, he does a weirder thing. 
He dips really? his French fries in his milkshake. You can't do that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But he does it every time I get fucking burgers and fries with him. And he just dips it in his milkshake. And I'm like, dude, you're fucked. Milk Tanker Media dip, dips fries in his milkshake. Huh. Yeah, probably some weird milk related. I feel like I'm going to have to confront him about that if and when I meet him someday. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, because we're, you know, we're never going to have another meetup ever again. No. We're never going to have another. Shining Time 2019 was the last meetup in the community ever because we all ended up hating each other. And we decided that we're not going to be friends anymore and we're never going to meet up again. Well, no, that's that's wrong because they met up in New Jersey. That's true for the Edison train show. Uh-huh. And then some stuff happened there, but we don't we, we don't need to see, get into that. See, here's a fun fact, completely off topic. But like we're we're both on Skype and I just saw his phone light up at the same time my vibrated. It's so weird to meet up with another community person like in person. But at the same time I've met up with, this is going to be a total humble brag here, uh-huh. but I've met up with so many people that at this point, meeting up with the community members doesn't even weird me out anymore. Like, it weirded me out when I first met up with, like, Eric mm-hmm. and, like, Milk Tanker and, like, Scarlowy Railway uh-huh. 01. Like, they were the first community members I met up with, and that was kind of weird. But at this point, I've met up with so many people that I just kind of, like, I'm just like, yeah, it's happening. Like, whatever. Well, like, I'll tell you my story, because I, I, this is my second person I've met up with. My first was Crimson2091. And when I met up with him, it's like, okay, like, this is happening. Didn't feel weird. But, like, literally, I had my stuff in my hand. I'm walking up, and he's like, I'm waiting outside of the building. And I see him, and, like, I say to him, like, man, this is, like, it's so weird seeing you in person. I don't know, it's just because, like, Crimson never, like, he shows his face on YouTube, but just not a lot. But, like, Mr. MPS2002 here, like, his icon is literally his face drawn drawn by flying pringle thank you so much jacob so like i don't know if it's just you know finally seeing that face i've watched on youtube all because like a crimson before matt crimson's the only youtuber of any sort whether it's a friend or just like a youtuber in general that i've seen face to face in person so like to see one i've actually like watched on my computer over the years but like within five minutes, it's like ah, you know. Yeah, we're just we're Here just we here. You want to go get some euros? Let's just, right? <laughs> let's just let's boys eat. being boys. Yeah, dude, it's so funny because like it was it was like what's better than this? Guys being dudes. It's like that vine. Mm-hmm. Literally, Matt Twillman and Chase Keeker twenty four Thomas Wooden Railway NW Break Fan. Do you remember when his uh, username I do, was NW Break Fan? I do Brake remember Band? NW Break Fan. He he. Those two would not stop quoting that vine during the entire meetup, and it just became <laughs> like it just became like the motto of the meetup. What's better than this? Guys being dudes. Hey, come on. I don't know what this accent I'm doing here is. That was a pretty good accent, though. Thank you. What what is that? Is that New Jersey? Definitely. Dude, speaking of New Jersey, we gotta we gotta get Johnny. We gotta get Henry's uh, Great Fifteen yes. back here sometime. Henry's Great Fifteen and his nice black lows, dude. <laughs> Henry is Great Fifteen. It's Great Fifteen. Dude, I'm gonna sound like fucking Damien here, but I miss the days when it was just me and Roberto and fucking Johnny and the three of us would just be on Skype and we would just be shooting the shit. And it would just be, and we would just like Johnny would do some dumb shit, and we would make fun of him. We'd be like, Johnny, you look like you took a shit on Thomas in your last video. He'd be like, Shut up, guys, whatever, blah blah blah. Man, those were good days in the community. Oh, Matt, it's crazy the passage of time. The passage of time is unreal. Should we? Do you think people understand that joke? No. Damien trains are cool too. He used to talk about the fucking passage of time, all of the time. He'd be like. Wow, the pass it time goes so quickly. The passage of time is unreal. And he would just never stop talking about it. So mm-hmm. when me, him and Roberto met up this past summer, that was that was crazy. And but we would always we would we wouldn't stop talking about the passage of time and Damien was like, Did I really talk about that all the time? And we'd be <laughs> like, Yes. Yes you did. And so we wouldn't stop bringing it up to the point where the second day that we were together, Damien got mad at us. So he's <laughs> like, all right, guys, I get it. Stop talking about it. And me and Roberta would just keep saying it. And also, Damien would, would he also forgot about the Big Ben account. Damien used boing, to, boing, boing. No, no, that was a bong, 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 bong. Damien used to retweet this Big Ben account that would just, it was like Big Bong, 
Big Bong, Big Ben the clock, and it would just tweet bong, 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 bong all the time. And he forgot about that, but we looked it up, and that account is still active. It's like mm-hmm. a it's like a bot that runs it now. You know, here, you know, fun fact, to age our podcast, because I know that, like, the last one we did is going to come out pretty quick, so it's like, ah, that one's not going to be aged. I'm going to age this one for you guys. I'm going to go to the Big Ben account, and I'm going to retweet it. Wow. I know. Man, hopefully I find it. Let's Let's not get our hopes up. You guys hear this? This is just popcorn kernels rolling around in this pot because I don't have a bowl big enough to hold the popcorn. So we're eating popcorn out of a pot currently. Rip, I can't find this Big Ben account. What do you think the name? Just Big Ben in one word? Because I did a space. Okay, guys, I lied. I might not be able to retweet this. It's okay. Future me, edit all this out. Just kidding. Don't edit it out. We need content for the podcast. Yes. You know, the Fun Boy Podcast. The Fun Boy Podcast. Man, that's our second reference to the Grease and Oil Podcast in two episodes. Yeah, like, because, I, cause like, okay, so this is how, like, I know we talked a little bit ago about how we decided on a name, mm-hmm. but, like, literally, we, we called, and we were talking, I'm like, man, you know, I was looking back, because, fun fact, I was in two Grease and Oil episodes, one just me and him, so this was like a prequel to Blue Midwest Mysteries, but I was in it, and one of them, I think it was the second one, you named the Fun Boy Podcast. I'm like, man, that could be a name. That's just a terrible name for it's a, a podcast. It's the worst possible, oh, fuck off. That's her timer telling us mm. that we need to quit, because we're at 31 minutes now. Oof. Okay, well, I mean, I don't want to cut you off. Do you, do you have any more to that story? Man, I mean, not really. Oh. I, it's just like... Hey, that happened. Oh, man, we just said it again. His phone lit up and mine vibrated. Okay. Well, <coughs> I got a popcorn <coughs> kernel stuck in my throat. <coughs> this is not a bit. I really I was choking there. Thank you for watching this podcast. Thank you for almost listening to me choke to death. I need to drink some water so that I don't you die. You know, after the last time talking about me almost dying, it's, it's his turn. Except his almost dying was alive. Oh, thank you for watching this episode of the... I almost said the, <laughs> the Grease and Oil podcast. Man. Thank you for watching this episode of the, the Blue Midwest Mysteries podcast. Go watch fucking Thomas Battles or Thomas Top Tens or whatever the hell is coming up next on the channel. All those shows are better than this one. This show sucks ass. Thank you. Oh, I found the Twitter account. Oh, hold on. Wait, they haven't tweeted since July. What the heck? Wait, I mean, it is. It is. I mean, well, t- you know, I'll just retweet the last. Yeah, tweet. They, there you go. Go ahead. Go go to person it's- number six Twitter account and retweet that tweet. I, I'm Mr. MPS 2002. And I'm person number six. And I don't have an outro. Goodbye. Goodbye.